What's up guys, Isaac Chicken in your local Realized Man and I'm gonna teach you guys how to meditate today, which is surprising because I've been talking about meditation for the past two years. I just realized I don't actually have a video where I outline how to do it. I've just been talking about the benefits of it and all that stuff. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it today. I'm gonna to give you like four different methods that you can use and um, outline how I meditate and some general group practices and stuff like that. And just remember, there's no one way to meditate. These are just basic guidelines to get you started so that you have some sort of um, resource to go from. Now, first thing I want to talk about is I don't recommend you guys do guided meditation. Guided meditation is good for beginners. It's good for starting to get used to learning how to meditate. But it's not a good um, thing to rely on because you become dependent on it. Meditation is to help you in everyday situations it's supposed to have practical applications so when shit's hitting the fan around you when chaos is um, coming up around you you're like the eye of the storm you're that center that's at peace you, if you're using guided meditation you're gonna rely on the audio all the time to get your brain that frequency and that's not really a good thing because you're not always gonna have your headphones you're not always gonna have um, Sam Harris or Eckhart Tolle or Alan Watts giving you these guided meditations. Sometimes you're gonna be by yourself and you're gonna to have to utilize your own skills in meditation, your own skills in mindfulness to regain some control. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, the first method I'm gonna tell you is the most basic method that you hear about all the time. It's basically um, where you sit down, right? You have your eyes closed or your eyes open, preferably your eyes closed so you don't get distracted. And you just breathe in and breathe out. And you keep doing that. You breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And each time you're breathing in and you're breathing out, all you're doing, the only thing you have to do is observe your breath. Just observe your breath. Just observe your lungs expanding and contracting. Observe your breath going up, coming out, going down. That's all you do. Just observe your breath. And when you get distracted, what's going to happen is you're going to be observing your breath for maybe the first minute or two, usually. And then you're going to start thinking about Pokemon Go. You're going to start thinking about spinners. You're going to start thinking about Migos. You're going to start thinking about maybe American Pie. You're going to start thinking about all kinds of crazy shit because that's what the mind does. The mind goes off in weird tangents and starts thinking about all sorts of random stuff. When this happens, don't be down on yourself just go back to your breath and that's it you just keep doing that and I suggest you get a timer you get like an alarm your phone you set 15 to 20 minutes and you just leave it somewhere out of reach so you don't always check your phone and forget about it and just focus on your breath what you're gonna realize is when you start off you're gonna be terrible at focusing on your breath you're always gonna be going off tangents but that's just the way the mind is with more practice you'll get pretty good at it and you'll be able to stay focused on your breath a lot more and be more mindful. Now that's just only that's only one way of meditating. Personally, I think that way is pretty boring. So I don't usually do that, but it's a good way to start for beginners. The second way I'm gonna teach you is called transcendental meditation. And a lot of people charge a lot of money to learn how to do this method. They go to these places and pay thousands of dollars to learn this technique, which is ridiculous. You shouldn't have to pay to learn how to meditate, right? Everyone should be able to do it. It's free. Don't fall for this bullshit that people try to sell you. Now, basically, with just transcendental meditation is you think of a mantra, a word, right? A word that does not have any meaning to you. So it can't be a word like cake or rice or bike. It needs to be just an arbitrary word or just sound like rum, zum, bra. Just something that does not really have any meaning, right? So you pick a word, and what you do is you repeat that word in your head. The pace is up to you, preferably slower, just so that you can focus. So let's say the word is rum. In your head, you're going to say rum, rum, rum. So you're going to use your internal dialogue to say the word rum, 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 rum. And what you're going to do is you're just going to keep focusing on that. And what you'll notice is if you keep doing it, what ends up happening is you no longer have to consciously say the word. It just keeps coming. Rum, rum. Kind of like your breath. Sometimes you don't have to consciously breathe. If you had to consciously breathe all the time, you'd be dead. 
So it will keep coming in a cycle, in a cycle, and all you're going to do is just observe the word, observe the word, observe the word, observe the word. Once again, like in the first technique, what's going to happen is you're going to be distracted. So the word will keep playing, 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 and then you're going to start thinking about, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! You're going to start thinking about Dragon Ball Z. You're going to start thinking about making money. You're going to get distracted. Just like in the first technique, don't get disheartened. This happens. Your mind is not yet there. You're still learning. It takes many years to master the mind, right? And remember, the mind is a good tool or good servant, but terrible master. So meditation is very crucial. You need to be doing this if you really want to regain control of your life. So you hear the word and just focus on that, focus on that, focus on that. What you can also do is you can, each time you hear the word, have a visual in your mind of the word like the letters bold or in a certain color that's another way you can do it but that's a bit more complicated just see as there's plenty of things you can do the basic gist of meditation is you're finding something to focus on and you're trying to pay attention to that you're trying to teach your mind how to focus and how to not always be distracted by these thoughts these thoughts that come out of the ether these thoughts that you sometimes have no control over because those thoughts are the things that can cause massive destruction in your life I personally have been in situations where I've had repetitive thoughts over and over again, over again. I've caused so much stress that it actually messed with my physiology, I uh, lost heaps of weight, you know, you were actually physically sick. That's the power of thoughts. For example, um, if I was to tell you to think about a close, close family member passing away or dying, what tends to happen is if you actually really think about it, if you really think about it, you start feeling negative emotions because your brain's taken the thoughts as reality. So that's why you don't want to entertain these thoughts and you want to get these meditation practices in check so that you don't have to suffer the negative um, repercussions of negative thoughts. You have to suffer about high cortisol levels and all the stress, all that bullshit. All right. So it's very important. Now on to the next two techniques. All right. So the next one is basically feeling your body. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pay attention to sensations at the top of your head, like where your hair is, and then you're gonna go down, just pay attention to sensations, the feelings, consciously go down to like your forehead, feel down here, feel down here, feel your chin, just pay attention to the sensations there, go down to your neck, and keep going down your body, super slow. At each stage, picture like You've got a laser or something, something that's scanning down your body. And wherever that is, that's what you're feeling. And what you realize is there's lots of sensations that you hardly ever feel because you're not conscious of it. There's lots of little tingly sensations, itches, and all sorts of vibrations and all sorts of weird shit going on in your body. You're going to become conscious of this and you're going to maintain that consciousness and awareness and go all the way down your body, all the way down to your toes, all the way back up. And you keep doing that for 15 minutes. Once again, just like another two techniques, if you lose focus, regain focus. That technique is a bit more fun, but a little bit more difficult than the other two, but it's a really good as well. And the final technique I'm gonna give you guys is um, a meditation you can do when you're just walking or when you're just uh, out in public. All you have to do is when you're walking, just pay attention to your feet. Feel the sensations of your feet as you're walking. So. You feel the sensation of every little rock that's on your feet, every little vibration, every little sensation that you can possibly feel. And that takes away your focus from your head and goes all the way down to your feet, your awareness there, and it's very hard to be stressed out when you're just worrying about your feet. So that's another quick little tip you can do, a practical way you can meditate throughout the day. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys got some value out of this. That's four techniques. You can choose whichever fucking method you want. It doesn't really matter. As long as you're doing it, I hope I outlined the importance of it and why it's so necessary. And yeah, I'll be seeing you guys soon. Do it! Just...